Hey, greetings and salutations. I'm mess around with this again today. You know, I mentioned before that that wasn't getting spark, and the reason why it wasn't getting spark was because the engine wasn't turning over fast enough to uh, generate a, f a field in the coil to, to send the spark off. Like I said, I bench tested this a couple times, and you can, if you turn it fast enough, it'll start sparking wildly. In an attempt to diagnose whether or not this engine is even capable of spinning fast enough with the starter that's in it, I pulled all the plugs so I didn't have any compression and it still won't spin fast enough to trigger. So I'm going to take the deserter back off and show you how I tested this. And then I have another ATI that's on the Suburban. And that's, that's a converted uh, stock ATI to a Petronic system. This is similar to that, uh, but this is a really inexpensive import. Before I stick any more money into that, I want to grab at least the cap and coil out of that other setup and bring it over here and see if it uh, changes anything. I suspect that the coil is probably bad in this. I'm going to pull this distributor out. We'll throw it over on a <laughs> what constitutes a bench these days. I'll hook up the battery charger to it so you can see what I'm talking about. Now if you happen to be wondering why I'm using a GM style HEI distributor on a 1960s to 70s vintage Mopar 318, the answer is simple. With electronic ignition, you can do away with the ballast resistor and, and a lot of the wiring that's um, problematic on these old Mopars. And on a GM HEI, you have the coil, which is mounted underneath this cover, that's directly attached to the distributor cap. And if space allows for the fitment of this huge distributor cap, in my opinion, this is a simple and easy solution for a streetcar. Maybe not for a high horsepower hot rod, but hey, this is the kind of stuff I grew up on, so I, it's familiar to me. You have a tack lead here in the front and a battery lead, a 12 volt battery lead here. And to make one of these things work, it's as simple as plugging in a 12 volt switch battery source to here. And if you want to hook up an electric tack, you just would hook up your signal lead for the tachometer to this uh, spade connector. I'm going to hook the negative battery terminal to my battery charger right to here. And I'll hook up the positive lead to my battery charger to this alligator clip and then I'll rotate the shaft and you'll hear audibly the sparks happening and you'll probably see sparks scattering off the posts here. You can hear it's not snapping now, but if I speed up a little bit. But it's intermittent. So I think maybe that coil's bad. Probably the easiest way to find out is to go grab one that I know is good. At the very least, replace the cap and rotor and see if things improve. Let's go take a look.
Well, let's see. Would help if I hooked up the positive lead to the distributor. Idiot! Damn it! For what it's worth, I did uh, test the other starter, the one that I pulled out of the the trailer the other day, and it doesn't spin any faster than this one. In fact, it might spin a little bit slower. So I'm not out anything, but I didn't gain anything either. It just occurred to me that I may be spinning my wheels. I never checked the spark plug wires for continuity. And I did make them after all. So, um, I'm gonna have to test, I'm gonna test a couple. But I'm gonna, before I do that, I need to fix my cheap ass tester because the positive lead broke on it story of my life. I'll be right back. Go oh, for fuck's sake. Well, that's got to be a first. You know, this isn't the first time that I've made a set of spark plug wires. It's the first time in a very long time, and the first time that I made a set of spark plug wires with the proper crimping tool. I tested four out of the eight, and all four of them had no continuity. So I went and robbed the spark plug wires off the, the uh, off Big Ugly, the Suburban. It's where I got the distributor cap and rotor. I've got everything reinstalled. We'll hook up the power wire here to the distributor. Let's see if we got spark. Still no spark. All right, there comes a point in time where um, you can't spend any more time around with stupid. Shit. It's just um, I'm spinning my wheels here. I've digged around with this thing for two full freaking days now, and this thing will just not spin fast enough to trigger uh, the coils. So I guess what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to bite the bullet. I'm gonna have to go buy some spark plug wires for my uh, coil setup and try to get that thing back to working. Maybe I'll bench test this, uh, this, this uh, coil distributor and uh, test the coil. And I'll have to get uh, the ballast resistor off the firewall. So I don't smoke this when I'm trying to run it, if I can get it to work. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go spend some big money on some better parts. And I really don't have the money to throw at this right now. i got other things I need to do. Tomorrow, I'm going to get back work on a bus. Oh, while I'm talking about that, why don't we go check that shower pan and see how that's dried out. It's been a few days. All right. Ooh! That looks nice. I think tomorrow I'll, I'll I'll do the red guard, and in between, oh, geez, freaking paint's peeling off my motor. In between, I think I'll come out here and I'll take these old AC Delco C86 plugs out and try to get those cleaned because that tractor's only running on two out of four cylinders, and as we've learned today, 50% is not a very good success rate. Um, I'm going to mess around a little bit with this distributor and see if I can't uh, get some positive results from it. If I can, then I'll work on getting this. But I'm, I'm at the at this point in time, I'm done with that cheap ass. Where did even I put it? On that cheap ass eBay uh, HEI. I'm sure that somebody out there makes a good HEI distributor for Mopars. That one came from eBay for like 60 bucks. And it didn't come with some very good reviews, and now I see why. 
If I could find a starter that would spin this engine twice as fast as it's spinning now, I might get a little more, a little more success, but it ain't happening. It just will not spin fast enough to trigger the coil. That really sucks because, like I said, man, HEI I'm familiar with, and it's only one wire, no muss, no fuss, unless it's a cheap ass, you know, knockoff that smells and reeks, I mean, just reeks of Chineseium. I've eliminated this particular distributor from this particular project. This is probably going to go in the scrap heap. I wouldn't even try to sell this on eBay. If I get any results with this distributor, I'll share that with you. Gap. Man, talk about second guessing yourself. There's a reason I'm not an electrician. So I had my multimeter tuned to here to check continuity and it tested zero or same as that it didn't do anything so i came and i turned it over here to uh 20 20k on the ohm scale i think it was 20k it might have been 200 that's the longest one i'm on the 200k scale Four, eight. So this set came with us uh, with some terminal lines for a distributor cap. This style. So I'm going to cut these ends off, and I'm going to put these ones on. I'll refer you to the original video of making spark plug wires instead of boring you to tears. If you want to see that video, I think it's up here. Well, we got the coil and the distributor in. Let's test it. Spark plug wires are built. Watch that spark plug. <laughs> So I got spark, old school rules today, I guess. But I did break a spark plug. So I have to go spend some money on a new spark plug. But I've been working on it for a minute. Look at this sunset. Doesn't even do it justice, boys. So I think tomorrow this thing will pop. I'm gonna put some fuel in it and uh, get, get a new spark plug, put, new, put spark plugs in it. See if I can get this thing running. The tractor's only running on two cylinders. The spark plugs look like death. I'm gonna pull those out tomorrow and clean them as best I can. During uh, gaps between coats of Red Guard, I'm gonna uh, paint the, the bathroom and the bus with Red Guard. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. And uh, surely something's gonna go wrong. It always does. Now let's go back about three hours when I originally closed out this video. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, underneath this window is a button that says subscribe. Click that and the bell icon right next to it so you too can be notified of future uploads because nothing smells as sweet as a sweet smell of failure. If you like this video and found it entertaining at my expense, hammerwick the like button. If not, hammer away at the other one either way share it with your vast social media network if you don't mind and until next time you have fun stay safe shoot straight keep the powder dry and have a splendid day thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye now